this is one of the first tests of PD-1 blockade in sarcomas. And so, um, because the tumors are very divergent, uh, there was, it was unclear if it was going to work in any subtype. So the, uh, the study did show that there was efficacy in uh, two or three of the different subtypes. And what that leads to is the important question of biomarkers. How can we know who to treat and who not to treat? So we were able to bank um, tumor samples and blood samples, cells and serum from um, almost all of those patients. And we looked in the tumor. Um, uh, the, uh, the group at MD Anderson led the tumor analysis efforts, and they found um, PD-1 uh, uh, staining PDL1 on the tumors. And so there's some interesting findings about the PDL1 expression levels on tumors, which was uh, actually very low, unexpectedly low, uh, given the, uh, the clinical outcomes we saw. So it's not going to be a, a clean story of high PDL1 on tumors means these are the patients who should be treated. We're, we have to look deeper than that. We looked in the serum and we found uh, soluble PD um, ligands uh, being a correlate of, uh, of good clinical outcomes. So this is a, a very interesting signal we're looking at. Um, examining soluble checkpoint molecules in serum is a new area. And so um, being able to look at that uh, and see a signal is something that we're going to very much focus on uh, in the expansion cohorts. So those subtypes of sarcoma that did uh, respond well clinically, we're going to really be able to look closely at candidate biomarkers for them.